Good evening. Today is still Friday, January the 12th, 2024. And I am back with just some, my own thoughts. This is not an email. These are my thoughts. Something I want to, something that was on my mind that I want to tell the young cats again. So this message is for you younger guys. 20, 18, 19, somewhere up in there. Might still be living with your mother or your parents or whatever. This is for you. Something that I wish somebody would have drilled in my head at your age. You know, I, I made a couple of videos about things I wish I would have known at 20 or whatever. This is another video on that lane right there. And this one is uh, about money. Something that most people will be scared to tell you because they don't want to seem shallow or vain or uh, superficial. So they probably ain't going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you. Cause I don't care what people think. Hold on. But this is, if y'all know me by now, you know I don't sugarcoat. I don't really care about what people think, how they feel about what I'm saying. I'm just going to tell you what I believe to be the God untrue facts. I don't care about political correctness. I don't care about who get pissed off, who get mad. I don't care about who leave, who unsubscribe. Y'all don't even have to tell me that you're leaving. Like a lot of y'all will come and say, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm gone. I'm going to unsubscribe. Why are you telling me? Just unsubscribe. I didn't know when you subscribed, so I won't know when you unsubscribe. But I guess you want to try to hurt me, think I'm going to cry about it or whatever, so you got to let me know before you leave. Like I'm going to beg you to, you know, don't, don't leave. I mean, I, I, what you want me to say? I, whatever you want me to say, I'll say it. No, I ain't going to, uh-uh. You don't like what I'm saying? You want to leave? But anyway, so young men, they're just saying called, I ain't going to put the B word in it, but it's money over everything. M-O-E. If you 18, 19, or 20, all I want you to be focused on right now is money over everything. Not your girlfriend, car, Jordans, uh, whatever the name of them, you know, Talonis, or whatever the hell y'all be wearing out there. Y'all like them clothes and looking good and uh, looking like you're balling, looking like you got it. We ain't doing that right now. I made that mistake for you. Trying to look rich instead of being rich. We're going to reverse that and put it how it's supposed to be. We're going to be rich without looking rich because if you stop trying to look, especially black people, that was killing us. We, we, we so focused on looking like we got it. The way we spend everything we get before we can get it. Trying to look like we own instead of really being on. Because our self-esteem and self-worth is so low, we trying to get somebody to like us and accept us. So therefore, we put all our time and effort into looking like we got something we ain't got. So young men, this right here is for y'all to actually get it, actually have it. And the confidence coming up that come along with knowing you actually got it. No, I don't look like I got no money, but I got plenty of it. I ain't talking about me. I, I ain't going to tell you what I got. I'm just saying, just the mindset we finna have in 2024. We ain't worried about what we look like. I mean, you're going to keep it clean cut and stay clean, not walk around here stinking. I ain't talking about that. But as far as worried about that, you got to have every pair of jars when they come out, uh, rims on your car, paint, none of that. If you making money right now, hopefully it's legal. But even if it's illegal, you making money, listen to me. I'm going to tell you what to do. Especially if you still stand with your parents. Your parents are kind enough to, leave, to, to let your grown ass still stay there. Just what you need to be doing. Every dollar you get, you save it. Other than helping your parents with a little, little bit on the bills. You deny not their parents are in charge of boy. They just let them stay there. And y'all still be broke. Living with your mama is still broke. You know why? Because you in the club making it rain. Like you got it like that. You're gonna spend, you'll, you'll save up three, four thousand dollars and go put it down in the car as a down payment. And then a big car to insurance to ride around and look like you're doing something. Like you own. 
Now you check a check a check paying debt. You're going to be taught that you're supposed to go in debt and build credit. That's what they're going to teach you. You need you some good credit. You need you some good credit. You know, eventually, you want a house. But credit, a rich man, the guy I used to work for, he, he sold his company and now he, don't, he, he retired. He said credit is for poor people to buy stuff they can't afford to pay cash for. We live in a society that tells you credit is a good thing. It's great to have credit. It's good to have credit. Yeah, you can't afford to pay cash. Now you're in debt. And if you don't know how to manage it, man, the bankruptcy court is full of people that didn't know how to manage their credit. It's hard to do because we live in a uh, materialistic society. We always see something we want. You buy one thing, you see something you want. You buy that next thing, you know you're head over here in debt because you didn't have the money. You couldn't afford to buy everything your heart desired. And you didn't have patience to wait until you can get the money and pay cash for it. Now you're in debt. That's what our society teaches us. Credit is good. But this rich man told me, no, it ain't. It's for poor people who can't afford to pay cash for what they want. And when rich people have credit, a lot of times they use credit to make money off of it. They don't just go buy stuff on credit and pay you no know, payments like we do. They use credit to finance buildings, infrastructure, stuff that they're gonna turn around, like you know, invest. That they use credit for. They don't they make money off of it. They don't use credit to go buy no car and pay eight hundred dollar a month car note like we do, trying to look like we own. So young men. Why are you living with your parents if you're living with your parents and you're fortunate enough to be in that situation? When you get paid, keep enough out your money just to live, just to make it the next payday. Repeat the process over and over and over again. We have a goal in this 2024 right here. If it's possible, you make enough money to save at least $25,000 cash. That's just a start. And you mean, that's a lot of money. I can't do Yes, you can. You, you, you'll you be surprised how much money you're blowing on credit card payments, car notes. We're not doing that no more. There's no progress in that. I did it for you. Here I am in my 50s. I'm telling you what I know now. Get your cash. Credit is great later on down the road. We're going we to use credit for business. We're not using credit for payments, car payments, house payments, credit card payments. That ain't what, our mindset for the chain, credit ain't that for us. The people that are on our way to being multi-millionaire. We're we gonna look at credit and debt in a totally different way. Credit is not to go out there and get that charger, that Hellcat, ride around kicking donuts in the middle of the street so folks can say, damn, that bitch fast. We ain't using credit for that. To ride up and down the street like a goddamn fool just so people can say, damn, that's that new Hellcat. That's that new S550. It looks good. What you got for that? Now you got to, damn, I'm going to pay for this shit. I'm so sick of paying all these damn car notes. Thinking of insurance scam. Now how can I burn that bitch up and let the insurance pay it? I'm tired of paying this note. Don't ask me how I know about that thought. Get money, young man. Put up your money, young man. Damn them joy. Let them fools buy the joy. And every new outfit that come out, every name brand that come out, thousand dollar pair of jeans, thousand dollar t shirts, and all that kind of stuff, and you live with your mama. Don't ask me how I know about that. But I'm telling you, because I know somebody personally who did that foolishness. Okay? Get your money. Every, well, you got to, I don't care if you work at a McDonald's. That money add up if you just dumping your whole check in the bank. Ain't touching it. Ain't trying to impress no woman. Ain't trying to impress your homeboy. Ain't trying to impress a dude across the street. Ain't trying to impress nobody but yourself. You want to be able to look at that bank account and see all of the numbers in there. And it's yours. 25000 is just a start. We're going to get up to 25000 We ain't going to just let it sit there. Now once you reach it, now you got, you finna start, now you finna start building some credit cards, you got a cash 
throw it up. And the credit we're gonna start building is to build credit so you can invest later on in the real estate or something where you can use your credit to use other people's money to make money. I'm gonna teach y'all about all that. How to use other people's money to make money. See, let me tell you, I, I, I you gotta study and pay attention to what you want to be and who you want to be. I want to be a rich man, so I study and watch rich folks. I don't watch poor ass folks. I've been poor ass nigga all my life. I watch rich folks, what they do. Their mindset about money is different. Poor people look at money as a way to pay bills. They look at when they get their money, I'm gonna pay my light bill, my water bill, whatever. That's what they gonna do with their money. That's what poor people mindset tell them what money is for. The middle class person tell them, you know, their money for, you know, to build some credit, financing my house, financing my car, house with a little white picket fence, a dog, two babies, and a cat. That's what the middle class people think money for. Be your little credit score. You know, nice little house, nice little car, make your little payments for 30, 40 years, kick back, retire, sit on the front porch, look at the grandkids running around the yard. Rich people look at money as in, how can I use this money to make me some more money? How can I make this money grow? That's the only difference in poor people and rich people is a mindset of how they view money. You hear me, young man? Money, look at it as a way of how can I make more money off this money? Not how can, the new Jordans coming out this week. Not the new Hellcat. None of that. Money is to be used to make more money. That's our mindset now over here on Big War Channel, okay? Listen. That's for older people too. They ain't not just for young cats. But the younger ones got a better chance because they got a longer time to work with to let their money build. And they live with their mama so easy when you ain't out there paying all these bills to save the majority of your money. People like us that got bills, grown folks, it's harder for us to do because we got bills now. While you ain't got no family and all them bills, you stand with your mama, it's easier for you to dump your check in the bank and leave it there. Why, do it while you can because it's going to come a time when you can't do that. You ain't going to be living with your mama. You ain't going to let your money sit there and grow. You're going to have to spend it. So before you get out here in the world where you got to spend your money, leave your mom's house or parents' house already with a big nest egg. Because you live in the big water, he said dump all your money in the bank and leave it there for a certain period of time till you reach a certain level. Don't touch it. Let your, let your homeboy let, look at their joy and, and, and admire those. You don't need none. I just look at his. I look at his room or his car and say, that's nice. I look at his Hellcat and say, that's a pretty car. And while I'm letting my money grow. You don't have to live check to check like the majority of people are living. The majority, I, I look at a study, the majority of people in America ain't got $400 in the bank for an emergency. The majority of people in America don't have 400 funky ass dollars in the bank for an emergency. Because we spend the holidays. Not because we ain't making the money, but because we can't hold on to it. We spend, 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 spend. And most of the spending is due to trying to keep up and look like we got something we ain't got. Because deep inside we feel worthless. So the more I put on the outside of me, trying to fix what's on the inside of me, the broker I get. Get it? Got it? Good. Get rich in 2024. Bye.